Hello. Are you using my neck as a pillow? And good morning, guys. I've decided, Pinocchio, that I'm going to give you a nickname. Since I had so much fun in Italy on Capri, I'm going to name you Nando. So, Jeffrey and Nando, today we're celebrating our 600th vlog. How do you feel about that, guys? Well, good day, everyone. I pretty much feel the same way they do. Happy 600th vlog. How cool is that, that we made it 600 days. Never thought it would happen, but I thank everyone for coming and watching every day. Now today, you already got to see Ja, you already got to see our other two co-hosts, but we're going to actually, I've been trying to do it for the last two days, um, let Ja go over and play with Pollyanna, and it hasn't really happened because of just schedule conflicts, but today it is going to happen. I'm going to take him over there, and then I'm going to take you guys and show you something really fascinating in Los Angeles. This is actually the longest one of these in all of the United States. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. And we have some mail to go out today, and I'm actually trying a new camera setting, just out of curiosity to see what it looks like, so we'll see if we notice any difference. And it's gonna be the last day for these. We're switching pair tomorrow. New glasses. You think he's excited to see Pollyanna? Oh yeah, he's excited now. Go ahead. <laughs> Are you getting treats? All right, guys. Well, Jaws dropped off. He's happy, so I'm happy. We'll see him a little later in the vlog, and we're going to take off to North Hollywood, and we're going to do our 600th vlog. So I thought, you know what? 600 vlogs? Let's go see something that is six blocks long. Like I said, this is the longest mural in the country, one of the longest in the world, six blocks long, it took 400 members to build. You know, like they say, Rome wasn't built in a day, the pyramids weren't built by one man, and we're gonna go see something that falls into that category right here in Los Angeles. We're gonna see the Great Wall of LA. All right, there's our exit. Well, right directly beneath us is the start of this epic mural. We're gonna take this little uh, cross over here to get onto the other side and we're gonna take a good look at it. Now as you can see, it begins right here and it extends all the way down there over six blocks long. Now how this actually started was, this was basically a beautification project. This was something that um, they thought that this wash was pretty ugly and they allowed a woman named uh, Judith Baca to create some sort of idea and that idea ended up spanning over six summers to complete this thing and she had um, originally had over 40 different artists helping to design it along with 40 uh, historians that help kind of come up with what they were going to depict in here because this basically tells the entire story. Um, it's called, the style of art is called social realism. So she tells the story of Los Angeles from prehistoric BC to the La Brea Tar Pits and it continues on through the Native Americans all the way up through um, the black uh, movement, through the gay and rights, uh, LGBT movement. Um, it, she really covered a lot of things and they said originally they had had, um, they hired uh, people for a work program, people that had been either incarcerated or in some kind of juvenile home, and got them to work. They hired them for minimum wage, and then it became like a community project where people just wanted to help out. So we'll work our way down. It's going to be hard to show you everything, but I'll work my way over to here, and I'll just show you some memorable spots in it. Stupid me forgot my other lenses. I just actually thought that this was something I would be seeing kind of from a sidewalk So we'll work our way down. There's some really great moments in it I could see as I was driving by now it said online that there were no topics that They wanted to shy away from as far as the history they wanted to incorporate everything no matter how dark or unsettling it may feel so You can see some of the Spanish uh, expedition the legend of Khalifa. Now I personally, I think this is awesome. I love this. I, I think it's a daring move to make and I think the art that I'm looking at, just as I've been walking down, I think it's great.
founders of Los Angeles, 1781. Mexican rule of 1822. Now that's great, there's part of the missions. We've been out there, so we've seen the San Fernando mission, which is what's depicted there, the Californios. Now if you're wondering, this is just paint on cement. That's the, uh, those are the only materials used, so they do uh, come out here and have to spruce it up every once in a while. This was started in 1978, and just last year it was made a historical landmark here in Los Angeles, so it's actually on the other side of where that uh, wall is. That's actually Grant High School, so that's actually part of Grant property, and so, they made um, that part of the curriculum. Studying this wall as part of the curriculum. There's the California Gold Rush, you can see that right there. Right next to the, wow, the white only sign. Now we're getting to the part in the history where, and this is something I'm actually gonna vlog, um, when the Chinese people came to Los Angeles, uh, in part it was to build the railroad, and then in also in part it was to help with the gold mines. And uh, there's a pretty unsettling part of downtown that I'm gonna vlog at some point that was called China City. Now just artistically look at that train and you can see the smoke and the faces coming out of there. That's really interesting. And then right next to it you have the Chinese Massacre. Then Frontier, California of 1880. Now right there you can see the Pony Express, so you know basically what time period we're talking then. That's the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo of 1848. And then it extends down here. You have, it's kind of interesting how they depicted the cowboys and Indians little um, plastic figures like the little green army men that you could buy for the land boom. And then you had the citrus industry. There's LA Mountains to the shore. They made a pathway. Then you can see the red car, all those street cars that we used to have. I can only imagine what traffic and life would be like if those were still kind of one of the common forms of transportation here. There's the city saloon over into Western Union. What great art, right? Now we get to the, basically the first break in the art to, uh, to acknowledge all the artists right there, and it breaks right at World War I. Now there, you can see that is uh, World War I Doughboys. Take up the sword of justice. And then women in the war industry. So it's gonna continue into uh, Charlie Chaplin. That's pretty interesting. That would be the next monumental moment in California history as well as the Edison video camera. So there's Charlie standing over the, uh, over the landmines. And then there's that whole Thomas Edison, which is, yeah, you know, that's a real, that's another almost political discussion because Thomas Edison has been accused of, whew, all kinds of sordid behavior, all kinds of uh, trickery, but then, goes a little past that to the great train robbery and then I'm getting excited because right down here is William S. Hart and we've been to his house. There you can see the William S. Hart stuff a little bit better. That is great. And you can see Mural Makers 78, director Judy Baca. Now I've seen about four of these since I've been out here walking around. Does anybody know what this is all about? These little containers with one rock and a little bit of water, is that for frogs or something? I don't know. There's a couple of peanuts there too. I don't know if that's related though. 
So now as we get to the uh, Illusions of Prosperity, you see them popping bottles of Dom Perignon, and it goes right into Prohibition. You've got an ax through a bottle of beer and a flapper girl, and then you have the Dunbar Hotel movement, which was like the jazz age, right into the market crash. Now there you can see the market crash, and then you see people cutting film, and then you see the child labor, and then it moves into the Great Depression. Now that sign says we can't live on five to eight dollars per week striking the labor strikes. And then the unsigned Indian treaties. And then it says 500,000 Mexican Americans deported and they have price tags on 1495 into the dust bowl and then from the dust bowl refugees over to the Japanese internment so that clearly would have been pre or right around World War II right and you can see right there on that section right there, before we get to the next um, group of names, it says stop area limits for persons of Japanese ancestry in this camp. Sentry on duty. Now where this reconnects, we're at the 442nd Infantry Division. And that is some great art. It extends into Jewish Americans, into Hitler. And then you reconnect over here to the California Aqueduct, United Against Fascism, World War II, and then over to Dr. Charles Drew. And then you have the Zoot Suit Riots, not just a band name. And this is a really interesting part. You've got the Jewish refugees, and you see they're hanging on by the chain of the St. Louis. That is really interesting art, and then it really gets sad right next to that. And then extends over into the baby boom, which even look at the food, the way they put boom in the food. I wasn't joking, right? This is a long mural. We're not done yet. We still have more history to go. Now there's farewell to Rosie the Riveter, and you can see she's coming right out of the TV in the artwork, and you have the all-American family right next to it with the development of the suburbs, or suburbia. Now we're at the, the Red Scare, which really took a lot of Hollywood careers away. You can see they've even got like the, uh, the Hollywood sign behind there. People down here in the corner pointing out in accusations. Everyone's painted pink into Division of the Barrios and Chavez Ravine. Also going to vlog that at some point. The sad story of what was there before Dodger Stadium and how it displaced an entire community why a lot of people aren't Dodger fans because of that. So now we move over to the birth of rock and roll. You got Elvis Baby, you got Chuck Berry right behind him. You got uh, teenagers hanging out in cars at, at the uh, drive-in. Then it goes on to Big Mama Thornton and forebears of civil rights. And believe it or not, that's actually the end. So we've seen quite a bit. We've actually seen everything, or we're going to. So now we're getting to the, you can see the, the gay rights section. And Daughters of Bilitis, or Bilitis. Now do you see that, that Mattachine Society? Look at the art. You can see the, the people drinking at the bar have faces in the back of their heads. And then it goes over into Venice West Cafe, 
with Allen Ginsberg reading Howl. Ginsberg and the Beats. So that would include Kerouac too, I'm sure. On to Jewish Arts and Sciences. That's clearly Einstein. Einstein, Indian assimilation, Asian gained citizenship and property. Wow, it took that long? Now it appears to me that they decided to end right here. And it was kind of a nice choice of what to end on. Olympic champions breaking barriers from 1964 to 1984. So you can see in there, Vicky Manalo Draves, Sammy Lee, diving off there. Then you have Wilma Randolph, or Wilma Rudolph, sorry about that. Billy Mills, great mural, really great mural. Now I'll read to you that description right there. I think it's worth hearing. The Great Wall of Los Angeles, the half mile long mural on this history of California depicting prehistory to the 1950s is a work in progress. This mural is a landmark to the history of America and California and a monument to interracial harmony created between the youth who participated. Begun in 1976 by distinguished UCLA professor Judith Baca and the co-founder artistic director, director and social public art resource center, the Great Wall of LA employed over 400 youth and their families from diverse social and economic backgrounds, working with artists, oral historians, ethno ethnologists, scholars, and community members to determine its content. The purpose of any monument is to bring the past into the present to inspire the future. Quote by Judy Baca. And like I said, the longest mural in all the United States, half mile long. Something to be proud of, Los Angeles. Here's another one. Well, we're having one of those moments where the, uh, the sheriff is doing the figure eights in the street to slow everybody down, or, well, pretty much, well, he just, Park sideways on the freeway, so something's up. Oh, uh, okay. There was like a bumper or something laying in the carpool lane, so he was removing that. All right, I was worried there was like a jumper on the uh, the bridge up here or something that's happened before. All right, we have some packages to mail out. All right, all the mail's out, so if I owed you anything through Patreon, everything is officially out now. I just got home and had a package at the door from William Hom. Thank you, it's some uh, camera batteries. Totally appreciate it. Well, that's about the end of the vlog. I'm gonna drive over and pick up John. We'll do a final end with him. But since it's 600th vlog, I'm giving away my sunglasses of the last 100 days. And I couldn't really think of a good way to do it, so I thought, who in the history of this channel deserves them the most? I thought back to one of my earliest followers and friends, the person I went to see The Price is Right with. Fernwood, these are yours. They'll be sending them your way, so these suckers will be living in Nevada from now on. Thank you for supporting me, buddy. Well, 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 party animal. You spent all day over there, and when I got there, you saw me through the window and started hopping around like a madman. I take it that you not only had fun, but you missed me. And I do have a confession to make, Ja. I, I apologize, but the laundry had to be done, so you didn't get to sit in the warm laundry this time. I know, I know. I suck as a dad today, but I'll make it up to you tomorrow, okay? Alright, let's say goodbye to everybody. Well, good night, guys. From me, from Ja, from Jeffrey, from Nando, from whoever else, thank you for watching all the time that you do. Thank you for coming and seeing me every day. I appreciate it. Today's shout outs go out to Nancy Hopple, Brenda Basshart, and Michelle Rose. Thank you all for contributing to my channel. Thank you all for watching every day. We'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great night and goodbye. <laughs>